What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode on The Supper Club. My name is Sammy Dabdub. Today, I wanted to dive right in and talk about an exciting topic as we are just days away from Q3 uh, of this year. Mercedes is slated to unveil the new W223 S-Class any day now. Um, it could be in a matter of weeks. It could be in a month or two, but we know that they are going to unveil it very soon, and I wanted to go over some of the exciting things that we already know about it. Um, there's already been leaked photos that leaked back in May, uh, as well as some videos of the infotainment system. And we already saw an interview with Ola uh, Kalanius, the CEO of Mercedes-Benz, and he had nothing but glowing things to say. Matter of fact, you could see the excitement in his face uh, when he was asked about the, the new S-Class, um, and he called it a technological tour de force. Um, he said, this is the flagship vehicle. They have their best and brightest minds on it. And anybody that's ever driven an S-Class, you know that there's S-Class and there's the rest. And so some of the exciting things that we noticed, it's, it's definitely a game changer. And I think it's going to be very polarizing in terms of you either love it or you hate it. Uh, one of the things that Mercedes did that was extremely obvious and probably the most impactful in the design was that they've eliminated the crazy amount of buttons that they've always had in the center control stack. And they've replaced that with a Tesla-like screen. And it looks like it has maybe a home row of keys uh, along the bottom. They may or may not be touch or actual physical buttons. It's really hard to tell and the quality of the videos and the photos that have surfaced are really low. Uh, but that is an absolute game changer. It now creates this new sleek, modern, simple design, similar to the interior of a Tesla. And they've done away with all those crazy buttons that they've had in all the previous generations, including the outgoing W222 model. Um, so with that said, they, moving on, the steering wheel looks that to have the new, uh, it's the capacitive steering wheel that they're about to put in the new E-Class. It's a double spoke on the side, it's a tri-spoke, but um, it has like two spokes coming out on each side um, and it's going to be more of like a touchless sensor. It has some incredible technology. It can sense where your hands are at all times, even if you're not touching the steering wheel, it kind of knows where things are, has sensor maps all on the inside of it. Um, and you're going to be able to, uh, kind of along the same similar theme of the new, um, the outgoing model steering wheel where it's kind of buttonless, it's more of a touch, um, a very light touch uh, capabilities, but this, Steering wheel is a game changer, why? Because Mercedes is making that shift towards more autonomous vehicles. Now their vehicles are mostly, uh, with the S-Class being the most advanced, they're semi-autonomous, but the plans are definitively for Mercedes to gear up for fully autonomous vehicles. And this new capacitive steering wheel is uh, kind of that uh, next step towards being fully autonomous. So really exciting and the capabilities, you can look it up online on the Mercedes-Benz website, but there's a lot of information about how that steering wheel works. That's another exciting part. You can also see the entirely redesigned body uh, of the Mercedes and it looks phenomenal. Again, for most people, it's you either love it or you hate it. Um, the front headlights are a little bit smaller. The rear headlights kind of follow the similar theme of the brand new 2021 E-Class that's been revealed. They kind of come to a point in the back um, versus the big rounded ones that we've seen in the outgoing model. Um, overall, it's just a very modern, sleek, and beautiful design. Very simple and futuristic, kind of ahead of its time, and that's how Mercedes has always designed and developed the S-Class. Um, but other than that, we're really excited about it. We can't wait for it to come out, um, and we are looking forward to seeing it hit dealerships before the end of the year. Now, last year, the GLB didn't come out until the second week of December, with the pandemic going on now, we're kind of expecting sort of the same for the S-Class for it to be released sometime very end of November, maybe early December with the unveiling happening here in the next month or so. But we look forward to it and thank you guys for tuning in and we look forward to seeing you on future videos and please consider subscribing. Thank you.